Chad Tucker. It's Christmas. It's one of our favorite times of year. You know, this is a season of giving, a season of hope, and one of community. And what better way to celebrate than with a parade? In this half hour, we're gonna introduce you to folks who are lighting the way every day. If y'all think I'm behaving better than I normally do, it's because my wife's with me. From 70 years of sharing a message everyone wants to hear. If you don't love people, you're not going to be effective in the ministry. To breaking bread with a multi-generational recipe of kindness. She was an extraordinary human being. But first, a drive-through of hope. Merry Christmas! We start at 7 o'clock, and of course, you know, there'll be a line of cars, and every car that pulls up will go through the same routine again. Could this piece go over here and be flipped that way in the whole lineup? It takes months of work and hundreds of people. We'll find a hole first. Right there it is. To bring together a live Christmas drive through a, a huge gift for the community, but a tremendous unification gift for the church. Under the night sky, at Jefferson Christian Church in Rural Hall, the story of Christ told through the work and hands of 200 actors and volunteers. We're talking builders. There we go. We made new costumes this year, mainly because the other ones were getting worn. Costume designers. This is for all of our crowd people and our disciples. Arnold Booth is just one of the many hands. The tomb scene, this is my favorite scene right here. That's why I always build it. Arnold not only builds a scene, but he plays a part. It's just my contribution. And plus two, the fellowship of being around my fellow Christians. I love, I love it. And I think that is, that's the church over there and that's yeah. the little wall. It means a lot to the community. I've been getting phone calls all day uh, of people saying, hey, are you gonna do your live nativity this year? And I mean, it brought everybody together. It didn't make no difference who you were or what you did for a living. Barry Poe was there that first year. And that, that's a lot of fun. And every year the church is gathered to offer this gift. And when you can see the, the story portrayed with real people, you read all these stories, but when it's acted out in front of you, it, it gives it a new perspective. Like I said, there's, there's so many of my brothers and sisters that I grew up with that are now gone on, but they were part of, you know, where we are right now. And of course, they look in there and Jesus isn't there. Another generation continuing the legacy of delivering this Christmas gift. Things change and you can't stop that, but I certainly hope that it'll be something that'll continue on and it'll people will want to do it. I just know that I'm just passing through here. My plan is to go to heaven if he'll have me. Kids won't remember everything that Santa brings them on Christmas morning, except a few special gifts, like that first bike. This is a 1963 Swin Coaster Brake Stingray. All the rage in the 60s was uh, hot rod cars with mag wheels, and so this was made to look like one. Mike Bogler loves bikes. And it had the wide handlebars like the motorcycles had in the 60s. I remember uh, seeing a Stingray for the first time. I said, wow, that is unbelievable. This was the first one you saw a friend have. It was the first one that I ever saw. You got it. it. It was a 1968 orange crate, and Mike was hooked. And that's been 1968 till now. I'm still obsessed with it. After two long years, my mother and father, I beg them. He and his brother finally, weekly, finally got he one. He come running in my bedroom and goes, Mike, Mike, there is a Santa Claus. <laughs> because mom and dad sure couldn't afford these two bikes. <laughs> There's an apple and orange crate in front of the fireplace. To this day, it's the greatest moment of my life. And that feeling came back when he started collecting them, lots of them. I have 25 of the crates, and that is every year, every color. I have 15 stingrays. And Mike can't even ride them. They're kids' bikes. My wife, bless her heart, you know, she kept saying, why do you want to buy something you probably can't even ride? And I said, it takes me back to a great time in my life. 54 years later, I That moment that in time in my, in my of just being a kid yeah, and the freedom and adventure 
a bicycle can give you. You know, I see kids now uh, stay inside and play video games and stuff. Go, man, you're missing life. You need to get on, start pedaling. It's just part of you growing up. It's a love that I can't, I can't explain. Merry Christmas! Still to come, the perfect bread recipe for those we love. I enjoy making it a lot because it, it makes me think of Linda, but it also makes me slow down. And later, it's not about decking the halls, but the memories made while doing it. Year and every year they get better and better. It's that time of year again, America. So let's light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology, space, and flexibility for any season. Get special offers on our adventure-ready SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks and make the holidays bright with Ford. Just announced, get 0% financing for 60 months plus no payments for 90 days on select Ford SUVs. That's zero for 60, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. This is Monster Jam. As big as it gets. Coming to Greensboro Coliseum January 13th and 14th. Brought to you by BKD Tires and Great Clips. You have to see it live. So lock in your seats today at MonsterJam.com. Sometimes the path forward starts with the guts to get going. At Strayer University, we help students take action by making higher education more affordable with access to up to 10 no-cost gen ed courses. Because our goal is helping you work toward yours. Mommy! So you can always keep striving. Today on Millionaire's Cove. Don, I won $1 million playing the new $10 million spectacular scratch off. And I'm leaving you. I also won the $10 million top prize. I love you. Because of my millions. Because of our millions. <sighs> New $10 million spectacular. Instant millions change everything. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. January 26th or 28th. Get tickets at tangercenter.com. Why wait? Get your weather every eight minutes. Only on the Fox 8 Morning News. This bread has risen overnight, and so we're going to bake it at 3.50. Haley Cox loves to bake sourdough bread. Sometimes it is so, you know, similar to Linda's, and the loaves are very similar, and then sometimes they're a little bit different. And with each loaf. She just always said this was really important. She's continuing a legacy. And that's what I always associated her with, was making bread, like, as a child. We're going to roll this out in a rectangle. As an educator, one of Haley's teaching mentors, Linda Lane, was known to make the bread as a way of loving on her neighbors. I enjoy making it a lot because it, it makes me think of Linda, but it also makes me slow down and just think, how can I bless somebody else with it? Linda, who passed away in 2021, was loved throughout the community. She was an extraordinary human being. By her many students and neighbors. Right about a cup. When she had cancer and she was sick, she gave that starter. So many people had it that if she didn't have the time or feel well enough to do it, she had people that kept it going. Do three tablespoons of potato flakes. The gift of breaking bread with those we love is what's brought generations together. So I usually put like three cups in here. Haley follows Linda's recipe to a tea. Most time it's going to make three loaves. The right amounts, um, same it's ingredients. It's more potent the more you feed it. And just so like Linda, warm water, she gives it away too. But also it's a little part of Linda that gets to carry on. And so because the lesson for us all is simple. To go do something for somebody else. Joy is found in giving from our hearts and our ovens. So, so when you're making the bread, do you, do you think of her? Oh gosh, yeah. Every, like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can't help it. Like, I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I always say it's just, it's her bread. She started the starter and gave it to me and make it, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. Merry Christmas. Givers 
are all around us. Worked out and I got an education and I end up doing what I said when I was 14 years old. I was teaching art and then doing art on the side. <laughs> Some have a message. Integrity is a person who does what they say they're going to do, who keep their word. Others, well, they're more well known. You know, this uh, being Santa is a privilege and an honor. You know, the best gifts are the ones that are handmade and tell a story. My dream was to have the Christmas story and the Easter story together. Keith Kiger creates nativities. Now, the crosses are removable. But his don't end at Christmas. The mountain part of it um, is paper mache. There's a wire mesh underneath it, and I just did paper mache on top of that. I wanted to shine light. The idea came to him. I just dreamed it up. I don't know. Someone of expanding a traditional nativity to include Easter. We all have a purpose here on this earth, and we all have a talent. A like reversible display for right both here. seasons. You got the manger Christmas story, then you got the crucifixion, and you got the resurrection. This is something I love. I love God, so why can't I use my talent to tell his story? And there'll be a light set right here. It took him several months light to up. create the display. Everything is handmade by my hands, yeah. Wood. Some large popsicle sticks, but paper mache, stained and cut. Paint. So I have to cut that at an angle. And a light in the center. But usually this wood glue is better, but. Used for the Christmas star clear, and the break of dawn on Easter morning. Yeah. Everybody loves Christmas, and it's a joyous time of year, you know. His first was a Mother's Day gift for his mom. The current one for a friend fighting cancer. I don't even know what to call it, to be honest with you. It's just a gift of hope. I, I'd say God put it there more than anything. Just put it there for me to, yeah. to work. A story of hope from the cradle to the grave. Hope. I mean, uh, and maybe that's what the title of this is, hope. He came here to give us all hope for another, a better life. Maybe that gives her that hope that God is there and he's in control. It's a kid's dream. We even have donations coming from as far as California. Toys everywhere. They get to pick out for their own kids. It's, that's powerful. But this is more than a toy okay. store. So then we go over here to, to the six to nine girls. For Todd Lusk, it's a place of hope. A lot of this stuff here will go to kids that are in those very severe, poor, rural parts of the county. All little girls love jewelry. And this all happened thanks to an idea, a dream of Todd's wife, Allison. And we met um, in 1998 at social services. She was quiet. She was very caring. We Allison's idea grew from one church to countywide. Her thing was, we've got to help people around the, get the church out there. An idea that has never stopped growing, even after cancer took her from Todd and the toy stores she loved. We were married a few years and Allison started getting sick, sicker with diabetes, heart disease, but you would never know it. Allison just taught me that giving is what it's all about. Now we're on the boys' side. <laughs> Vicki Heath was right there with her, witnessing the gift of giving. It's an honor to me to have worked with her and realize the impact that she has had on this. A legacy that's inspired others, like Sharon Watts. Like, I have been so blessed. Battling pancreatic cancer herself, she's here, finding healing and helping kids. It warmed your heart and just kept you pumped up and you wanted to do more and more. And that's what Christmas is all about. Ladies in the church and the community have made all these hats. Loving on others, no matter the storms or the season. Just walking in here makes me feel her presence. Merry Christmas! This is amazing, and it's like this every year, and it just gets bigger and better. <laughs> but don't go anywhere. This parade is just getting started. I thought you were already talking to Jesus. Uh -huh. Next, an old-fashioned revival. One preacher just did his 250th. One thing about the ministry, it is not boring. <laughs> and later, how the Christmas story is taking shape in pottery. It's chili cooking. <laughs> so Roy the chili cooking. Whether you celebrate mistletoe magic in a Cadillac XT5, festive gatherings in a Cadillac X-T4, 
or reinventing traditions in a Cadillac XT6. This holiday season, Cadillac is celebrating you. Get 2.9% APR for 36 months on a 2024 Cadillac XT4, XT5, and XT6. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. I'm Chip Overby with Old Dominion Freight Line, inviting you and your family to enjoy the Fox 8 Old Dominion Triad Holiday Concert Series. Join us Wednesday, December 20th for the Fox 8 Day of Giving, a day-long telethon to raise money and food for the Salvation Armies of the Triad. Then, at 7 p.m., don't miss one-hour Fox 8 Old Dominion Triad Holiday Concert right here on Fox 8. It's the Fox 8 Old Dominion Day of Giving, the Triad Holiday Concert Series, more music, more opportunities to give. Can we get a selfie? Okay. Oh, sure. Okay. Cheese! Okay. I can't stop hitting the gritty. When you get a deal at the Big One sales event, you can't help but celebrate your way. It's contagious. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <me! laughs> Whatever that looks like. Right now, get 2.9% APR for 36 months on a new 2023 Toyota Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. Join us Wednesday beginning at 6 a.m. for Fox 8's Day of Giving, followed by the Fox 8 Old Dominion Triad Holiday Concert Special at 7 p.m. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! You know, the message of Christmas is one of new hope and love. One friend's been sharing that message since the early 1950s. This is my story. This is my it's Revival Night at Teresia Church of Christ in Beaufort County. Very nice to meet you. And visiting pastor Ralph Sproles is continuing his lifelong story of faithfulness. Integrity is a person who does what they say they're going to do, who keep their word. This night, marks his 250th revival. The first passage of scripture talked about building your life. When you get up to preach, you feel like what you have to say is relevant and these people need to hear it. Ralph started preaching when he was just a college student back in 1954. I've spoken there several times. Times have changed but the message hasn't changed. And so I started out. For the past seven decades, he's preached mostly in Stokes and Surrey counties. Who in the beginning. He's retired twice, officiated 206 weddings. You think about it. 742 funerals. And now? He said it wasn't there. Here he is, back in Teresia, delivering his 250th revival. Some think you're John the Baptist got your head back wrong. The last time I did a revival down there, I got a speeding ticket. <laughs> now, in his late 80s. I thought you were already talking with Jesus. Uh -huh. He may have slowed down, but with his wit and wife, Ricky, of 65 years. If y'all think I'm behaving better than I normally do, it's because my wife's with me. <laughs> He's still happy to preach every now and then. Baseball preaching, <laughs> hit, hit and run. With thousands of sermons under his belt, he's kept records of them all. Ralph says the most important lesson on being a pastor, one he learned many years ago, remains true today. I'm a hugging preacher. I hug people. Faith and love. Just love your people. The lifelong story of Ralph Sproles. If you don't love people, you're not going to be effective in the ministry. You did a good job tonight, honey. Thanks. And I tell people I love good them. To see you. Thank you. You. When I see them at church, I say, I want you to know I love you because they don't hear enough of that. And that's, that's what the Christian life is about. Just to make sure that you find that part in, and then we'll add another piece. Decking the halls. Good. And now pinch it at the top. With the Morgans. Big. Not too, too big because of the size of the wreath. Sarah Morgan, a longtime art teacher, 
is working with her favorite students. These two and twist them. Her grandchildren. Teaching the kids has been wonderful. They are the light of my life. A light that has caught on to her love of wreath making. Every year they get better and better. Sarah first taught herself how to bring the greenery together about 20 years ago as a gift for fellow teachers. And we ended up teaching anybody who wanted to come to pinch that in. A gift that is now being passed down. Because it's always fun to like fit it together. It's kind of like a puzzle. One of my old art teachers, she really, really, really liked it. So just make sure whatever you do. That she you uses don't a variety of evergreens, mostly gathered from the yard, like magnolia leaves. Using your hands and making something beautiful that people can enjoy is just wonderful. Real berries help add that seasonal color. And all you have to do is fluff it out. But these aren't the only colors that she brings together. She's also a painter. That was really the beginning of it. But it's not the art or the wreaths that bring her the most right, joy. Go around the whole thing first. It's tight, the feelings tight, so that these moments create that she knows her grandkids will never forget. Right, so I love to share the feeling of accomplishment and of pure joy with the kids. Okay, so take the two pieces of wire. Creating moments in the season. I think it just runs in the family. The ultimate Christmas gift. It just does my heart good to do things with them. Just the warmth that we share, the hugs, the talking together. I hope they'll remember that. Have you ever wondered why Santa has the perfect smile? Open enrollment for health insurance is here, and North Carolina Farm Bureau is ready to help. Farm Bureau agents are experienced, trusted, and in all 100 counties. Stop by your local Farm Bureau office today to get started. Helping you is what we do best. This is the GMC Sierra, powered by the TurboMax engine with the confidence of 430 pound-feet of best-in-class standard torque. GMC Sierra, it's the truck. Just in time for the holidays, get over 7,800 total value for current eligible GMC owners. That's around 15% below MSRP on select 2024 Sierra models. See your Piedmont Triad GMC dealer. You're watching Fox 8, the Triad's official station of football. Hi, I'm Jim Sutton. And I'm Jack Sutton. We're the brothers from Sutton Brothers Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and Electrical. Being born and raised in the Triad, we're proud to be a locally owned business. We're also proud of our employees and grateful for their hard work, energy, and dedication. Couldn't agree more. Our employees are the best. And to our customers, we thank you for trusting your home to Sutton Brothers Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and Electrical. You're the reason for our success. From our family to yours, enjoy the holiday and be thankful for all you have. Doing more for those around you starts with doing more for yourself. At Strayer University, we help you work harder, plan better, and think bigger with tools to keep you moving forward. It's why we give you a brand new laptop when you enroll in a bachelor's program. Because our greatest strength is helping you unlock yours to always keep striving. If you're looking for health coverage, trust the experienced local agents at North Carolina Farm Bureau to help you. We have you covered for all of your health insurance needs, including Medicare. Stop by your local Farm Bureau office today to get started. You see what I'm saying about the angle of putting the... Uh... It's the most recognized image of the Christmas story. It's a little bulky there. And Potter Thad Cox has crafted it out of clay. The key to really make this look sweet and special is with Mary's head tilted just right. Faith and art have always been a part of Thad's life. Uh, I usually start with Mary's arm first and then baby Jesus sitting in it and put this little guy that changed the whole world right in here. He first learned to draw as a child in church. Right, let's see, let's get him. He first fell in love with pottery 
when he was just a teenager. Kind of trimming her arm down, it looked a little fat to me. And for many years, as a high school teacher, he's passed that love on to his students. It worked out, and I got an education, and I ended up doing what I said when I was 14 years old. I was teaching art and then doing art on the side. <laughs> Over the years, he's created some funny faces. You know, I want to do something that makes people laugh. But this time of year, on the suggestion of his wife. She says, can you do some of these for me to give for Christmas presents? They're detailed in clay. Are the figures of Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. It's the faces of hope. Come right about here. With a light to light the way. That's probably about it. How that little guy changed the whole world. It's amazing. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that you soon would be there. For Santa and Mrs. Claus, it's the most wonderful time of the year. He tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. That means he opened the window. You know, this, uh, being Santa is a privilege and an honor. And every time that I and my sweet Mrs. Claus talk to children, we probably get more out of it than they do. For Santa, like Sam Simmons. <laughs> my nose like a cherry. <laughs> and Mrs. Claus, I'm Julia. I bed to see what was the matter. They know a lot about bringing Play smiles. And eight tiny reindeer. Santa worked as a dentist for almost 40 years. In Santa years, it's been about eight seconds. Then, his beard. And I let my beard grow out. It started to turn white. But a little boy came up to me and my sweet wife and asked if I was Santa Claus. That little boy, followed by a calling. In my mind, I looked a whole lot older than I really was. Led to this. That was my retirement life. Do something for the children. You're already doing it. Why not do it and understand why now? He calls his mother and he says, I have a gift for you. And talk about a gift. The couple sees hundreds of children each season, all for free. Whenever they do receive a fee, they gift it back to the kids in the community. What makes Christmas special is an effort to be together with people that you love and to show them how much you care for them. She flew out of sight. Merry Christmas to all. And, and to, to all, all a good, good night. night. <laughs>